Are you in business survival mode? And what does that look like? So I've shared with you my experiences with my first business when I was doing event planning. And what I've come to realize in just doing research about business development is that I was stuck in a perpetual state of survival mode for business. And I want to talk about the characteristics of that and then also what to do to get out of it. Do you have a focus in business? Do you have a purpose in business? And do you stick to that steadfast as you are getting inquiries, as you're getting and making sales? So when your business is in crisis or you're in survival mode, you are not growing. You're in this like perpetual state of like robbing Peter to pay Paul or living check to check or invoice to invoice. You suspend hiring, you suspend growth, um, you basically neglect all of your long-term planning that you set aside because your focus is just to make ends meet. You've gotten into this rut of, you know, you're saying to yourself, you know, as soon as I get this big ticket invoice paid, then I'll be caught up. But is that really true? Nine times out of 10, no. Because that's not what you need to stabilize. What you need is a surefire way to get out of this survival mode and run your business as if it's a true business and you're putting profit first. Let's talk about petite seats and the focus and mission of my business. My business mission and vision and focus all revolve around providing kids tables and chairs for kid size events. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's say I'm operating in this crisis mode where I'm just trying to make ends meet. I'm trying to pay off creditors. I'm trying to pay my bills. And I decide, even though that's my mission, that I'm going to take a client that wants the whole shebang. They want tables. They want chairs. They want linens. They want cotton candy machines. They want carts. They want bouncy houses. So because I know this this invoice is going to be very big, I decide that I'm going to deviate from my focus and my mission and my vision and provide the client with everything that they desire. So automatically that decision takes me away from my vision. It puts me in a perpetual state of robbing Peter to pay Paul. It makes that opportunity cost, the month, the, the number that I talked about in a couple of lives ago, that opportunity cost to get new clients, it makes it go way up. And it puts me in debt. So the promise of fast money is there, but I'm not considering the amount that it costs me to go in debt to buy a bouncy house, to buy a ice cream machine maker or popcorn maker, whatever it is that I promised. I am not considering that amount. So I'm getting caught up in that opportunity cost. And what happens is, I'm promising that I'm going to sell an item, right? Or promise that additional item that's far from what I have in my inventory. And what happens is I don't understand the difference between, get this, profitable. So I'm getting caught up in that opportunity cost. And what happens is I'm promising that I'm going to sell an item, right? Or promise that additional item that's far from what I have in my inventory and what happens is I don't understand the difference between get this I don't understand the difference between profitable income versus debt generating income which causes so many businesses to be in the survival mode do another example let's say you're an event planner And you feel the need to purchase a slew of inventory, decor items, um, to provide when you do your decor service and event planning service. So you, one, have to have a storage unit. And yes, you have a space at home where you can use. Two, you have to transport this stuff back and forth. So you need a vehicle that's um, able to do that. So nine times out of ten, the day of an event, you're renting a U-Haul, which is an additional cost. And you have to pay for the actual inventory. So you're paying, whether it's wholesale prices or otherwise, you're paying for these items. So now you have three additional expenses that you would not have had if you just decide to rent. And of course, renting, 
there are a slew of rental companies. So if you're saying you're an event planner, why do you then take on an additional cost of having inventory that's going to cost you more money on the end? In my next master's class on July 1st, when I'm talking about finances, we'll talk about breaking that cycle of being in survival mode for business. We'll talk about that opportunity cost and how it's hurting us and crippling us. We'll talk about the difference between profitable income and, je- and debt generating income. You can't become effective in a crisis when you're in business if you're always justifying why you're spending money. Oh, well, they want a 10 piece chandelier on the table so I can just buy it and I'll have it and I can re-rent it later. That's a bad way to be. So you are willing to make money at any cost, which is detrimental to your bottom line. So those are the things that we will talk about at the master class in January, excuse me, July 1st.